welcome back to my channel guys today I'm going to show you how to make this simple chicken feed recipe if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me so for this recipe I am using 500 grams of chicken feet which I have cleaned washed and also trimmed off the nails you are more than welcome to cook yours with the nails I just find that when the nails are removed it's much easier to deal with in terms of eating okay so I've added the chicken feed into a pan and to that I'm adding some water so I am cooking mine in a shallow pan but you don't have to cook it in a shallow pan you can cook it in a pan that's much deeper than that so to that I'm just seasoning it with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and then to that I'm also going to add some turmeric so the turmeric I'm adding at this stage because I would love that nice yellow color to penetrate the skin of the um, chicken feet and then also just give it a nice bright vibrant color so I'm just mixing that up just to make sure that the water absorbs the um, turmeric and so it'll be easier for it to pigment all the chicken feet inside the pot so I'm just mixing that up and then I'm gonna let that simmer away for 30 minutes with a lid on So after 30 minutes, um, my chicken feet are practically almost fully cooked. So I am going to remove them from the pan. Like I said, I'm using a shallow pan so you can see that I've also run out of water. But if you're using a deeper pan, you might still have a little bit of that um, water in your pan. Don't discard it. You can still use it um, in the upcoming steps. So this is what the chicken looks like it's quite good actually if you can cook it through at that point and add a little bit more salt you can definitely eat it like that but we obviously want to add more flavor and to that so and so with that said I've got the same skillet I just rinsed it out and I am going to season or I'm going to roast the main seasoning which is the Raja all-in-one curry powder so the main reason why we're roasting it in the skillet with some oil is just to make sure that we bring out all those flavors at an early stage so that by the time we add our meat in the flavors are already there and then our chicken feet just absorbs it so to that I'm also adding some onions and then I'm going to saute the onions until they are nice and translucent and don't forget all the measurements for this recipe are in the description box below so you can look there for all the measurements Okay, so once my onions have fully cooked through, I am going to go, I'm going to go back and add the chicken feet into the pan and I'm just going to mix these just to make sure that all of them will get all the flavors that um, we just infused with the onions. So the seasonings that I'm going to use are very basic. I'm using some um, garlic powder. And I'm just adding a little bit of that onto the top and then just to give it a nice vibrant red color I'm also going to be adding some paprika then I'm going to be adding some sauce um, I really love this it's gonna give it this nice um, bittersweetness I don't know how to describe the flavor you just need to add it and then I also I'm going to add some dry thyme you can also use fresh thyme my fresh thyme has dried out so that's why it's dry thyme and I'm gonna add the water back or I'm gonna add some new water into the pan if you were using a deep pan and you had some of the liquid from when you were cooking the chicken feet earlier you can definitely also add that liquid back in at this stage and like I said I'm just gonna mix it all up just to make sure that all the chicken feet can absorb all that curry flavor that we just roasted earlier Next, I'm going to add some tomato paste. I'm not adding a lot of tomato paste. It's just to also give it 
a bit of that a, a stewy flavor so we don't really want to add all of it so i've just added like a tablespoon worth of the tomato paste and then i'm just mixing it up in the pan i also noticed that i'm running low on the sauce so i'm just adding some more water so you'll have to monitor it and obviously the amount of sauce is subjective to how you want your um chicken feet to be so i don't like a lot of sauce on mine which is which is part of the reasons why i'm being very very careful with the amount of water that i'm adding into the pan so i'm just going to i'm just going to give that a quick mix um just to distribute the flavors again throughout all the chicken feet in the pan and then i'm gonna allow that to simmer away for 15 minutes before i check up on it and the only thing that i'm going to be checking now is the bitterness of the chicken the bitterness of the sauce so because we added some tomatoes we just need to make sure that we balance out the bitterness that the tomatoes present in the dish and i found mine to be slightly bitter so i'm now going ahead and i'm adding some sugar it's actually a sugar alternative that i'm using from the sachet um i don't really consume sugar anymore so this is what i'm consuming now so that's why i have that on hand you can also use um some honey just to give it just to balance off the bitterness I've added the chicken feet into my serving dish and I'm just garnishing it with some parsley and this is what it looks like honestly I absolutely love this I enjoyed it you can enjoy it with some pap really honest that's just what you can enjoy this with you need to have this with pap you can also snack on it it's nice the salt is balanced it's not bitter it's just absolutely amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and you're gonna try it out and it turns out just as good as mine like i said if you're new here hit the subscribe button and don't forget to also hit the like button and i'll definitely see you guys next time bye